All right, so this roller coaster car is already going that speed, right? It hits an accelerator that exerts a force over a distance, right? And then it rolls up a hill where it's going 4.52. So let's draw a picture of this. It's like, ooh. Okay, here it is, right? So for uh, uh, 7.18, 718 newtons, right? Over a distance of 14.9 meters, right? Here's this little roller coaster car. Ooh, ooh. It's already going though, it's already going 3.54, right? So it's, it's already moving at the bottom of the hill. Then there's a forward force that acts for some distance, right? And then at the top of the hill, the top of the hill, it, we see it trucking along here at uh, 4.52, right? So the question is, what is this, what is the height of that hill? Right? This is solidly a two to two, right? So at the bottom you've got force times distance. Right? You've also it's also moving, so you've got one half mv squared, right? And then here you've got your you know, your usual car on a hill, a moving car on a hill. So it's got mgh, right, plus one half mv squared. The mass will not cancel out of every term because of the force times distance. There's your force, right? There's your displacement, uh, there's your velocity, right? There's the mass. So all of those masses, and then our height is this is this is the mystery, right? We're trying to find that, uh, and then 4.52 meters per second. That's this guy. Think that'll work?